Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and in this video, we are going to be diving into the skills that you're probably going to want to be using while you are leveling up your Demon Hunter during the 1 to 60 process at the launch of Diablo Immortal, finally hitting the live servers and us being able to play. It's actually the class that I am going to be playing, and I'm going to walk you through the thought process that is going into what skills I'm going to be using along the way to take advantage of the strengths of the Demon Hunter so that we can play efficiently as we are leveling up and trying to get to the end game as soon as possible. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, uh, a, a quick overview of the Demon Hunter class. Maybe some people are watching this and they're still on the fence about what class to play and they just want to get a better understanding of how the different classes are going to function in games. So if you're going to be playing Demon Hunter, your role is going to be damage. And uh, it actually works a little bit different in Diablo Immortal than it does in like Diablo 3, for example, where you want to stack a bunch of dexterity. So in Diablo Immortal, you are going to want to stack strength and you're going to want to do everything in your power to stack damage because that is how you extract value out of the demon hunter class it does arguably the most damage of any class in the game and especially if you're in a group of friends your role is going to be to kill stuff you are going to be maximizing your damage output so that you can carry the party and kill stuff as fast as possible so for the demon hunter it is very much a case of our best defense is a great offense so that we can keep bursting things down and progressing efficiently and I do hear some people talking about, oh, the Demon Hunter uh, does too much damage. It, it, you know, it's overpowered. Uh, well, you know, it's kind of silly that uh, the, the Demon Hunter uh, is this good at cranking out damage. The Blizzard needs to nerf it to make other things viable. And honestly, the Demon Hunter has to be like that. If the Demon Hunter did not shine in PvE damage, it would be a garbage class that no one wants to play because the Demon Hunter does not have very good mobility. So that's something you're going to need to prepare for. It's uh, I can pull up the skill here. One second. Its movement ability in Daring Swing is one of the worst in the game. It's easily interrupted. It's, it's just not that great. And, and Escape is not much better either. So uh, you'll see when we get to the build, I'll talk about that a little bit more in depth. But the Demon Hunter has to crank out good damage because it, it's really tough to play effectively in PvP. And it is not that mobile uh, in terms of things to zoom around the map, like having teleport and stuff. So uh, just by the very design of it, if the Demon Hunter was not good at PvE damage, it would not be a very popular class at all. So it's definitely not broken. It is something that needs to be a feature and a staple of the Demon Hunter class. So rest assured, if you are playing the Demon Hunter, you are going to be uh, killing stuff fast and your team is going to love the damage that you are bringing to help them mow down enemies. So now let's talk about the skills that you're going to be putting on your bar to use for efficient leveling 1 to 60. And that discussion is going to start with the decision between the two primary attacks. Now, uh, this really isn't a discussion at this point. Uh, you're going to want to go with crossbow shot for sure. And luckily, that is the one that unlocks at level one. So right out the gate at level one, you have got an amazing primary attack because you can fire an arrow for damage while continuing to move. You don't even have to stop as the Demon Hunter. It is a very cool feature of the Demon Hunter, and you're going to want to leave crossbow shot on your bar the entire time as you're leveling up, and you are probably never going to switch over to explosive arrow. It'd, it'd be some special circumstance uh, that would be way out of left field or something, but most of the time, just go ahead and stick with the one you get at level one crossbow shot and use that amazing primary attack, uh, enabling you to move while you fire the whole way up to level 60. But not only that, another cool thing about the Demon Hunter is you get multi-shot right out the gate, uh, which I think is super cool because it is a staple ability of the Demon Hunter. So you're going to start with an amazing primary attack and an amazing skill in multi-shot to just mow down and do AoE damage. You're going to completely clear the screen with this multi-shot as long as you are doing a good job keeping your gear up to date. Uh, multi-shot is a barrage of arrows that deals damage to all enemies in a specific direction with a maximum of three charges. And uh, you, you just go up to a screen, pop, pop, use a couple of those charges, keep going. Your charges refresh, pop, pop, and just, and just keep mowing things down uh, with your crossbow shot firing as you move. And then multi-shot uh, continuing to just clear screens as you're progressing forward. So right out the gate, Demon Hunter going to be very potent and a great part of the group with an amazing primary attack and an amazing ability right away. 
But that is not all, because unlocking at level 2, you have an opportunity to dive into Reign of Vengeance. Uh, and Reign of Vengeance is one of the best abilities in the game. Uh, it is a boss nuker. You drop this Reign of Vengeance on top of whatever you want dead, and then poof, it is dead. Now, uh, this was nerfed a little bit in the, uh, or, or we're getting rumors it's going to be adjusted a little bit since the beta because it was way too ridiculous. I've actually got a video covering those beta changes that I will remember to link over there if you want to check out the full list of, uh, of my thoughts on some of the things that are that are rumored to be getting tweaked since the beta or in between beta and the live launch. But Reign of Vengeance was one of them. Uh, now it's getting like a 15 to 18 percent, something like that, uh, damage nerf, I think, uh, to, to, to how fast that is able to burst things down but it's still going to be an awesome skill it's still one of the best in the game it was doing that much damage so you're definitely going to want to take advantage of rain of vengeance during your leveling process because you'll have the crossbow shot uh primary attacking while you're moving you'll have the multi-shot to just clear mass trash mobs doing aoe damage and then you'll have the rain of vengeance for those more elite fights boss fights single target to drop on a primary location and crank out a bunch of damage and the other skill that we are definitely going to want on our bar at all times is going to be Vengeance. Now, Vengeance does not unlock until level 50. Uh, so you're going to get this a little bit later down the road. But when you get it, you definitely want to be taking advantage of it because it is going to transform you for six seconds, buffing primary attack to fire two additional shots. So you're going to be uh, getting an even stronger crossbow shot uh, doing damage while you are moving. And then Vengeance is also uh, going to grant you 3% movement speed for each nearby enemy to a max of 30%. So Vengeance is going to be basically in every demon hunter build and as soon as you unlock it you're going to want to be taking advantage of it so you can uh, get from level 50 to level 60 as fast as possible with an amazing buff now after that it gets a little bit less obvious and you've got kind of a flex spot to play with on your last ability uh now you can go with daring swing which unlocks at level 18 uh but just Take note, like I said a little bit earlier in the video, Daring Swing is probably the worst mobility ability in the game. So uh, it's, it's easily interrupted and it's just not going to be pleasant to kind of use. I'm, I'm hoping that Blizzard will uh, adjust Daring Swing uh, or, or give the Demon Hunter some sort of ability to uh, to, to, to get around the map a little bit better. But uh, just be aware that Daring Swing is not going to function amazing in my opinion. Uh, so if you don't, if you're not enjoying playing with Daring Swing, uh, I'll give you another option you could probably go with. And that option would probably be Sentry, which unlocks at level 28, which is going to summon a turret for 30 seconds that deals damage to nearby enemies, can have two at once, and has two max charges. So uh, anytime we can kind of place passive damage on the map, uh, I, I really love that. It's kind of similar to a mechanic like the Necromancer with their summons or, or, or dropping a, a Skeletal Mage where you just plant more damage on the battlefield. So uh, if you're not enjoying playing with daring swing i think sentry would be a great option to have on your bar just to get more damage on the battlefield and especially if you're in a situation where maybe you're not you're, you're not like falling behind your team and you don't need more mobility a choice like sentry would be a great addition just to help you clear things that much faster so that means that in conclusion, the build that I am probably going to be going with for the most part on my journey from 1 to 60, and I think is going to be a really strong choice for the leveling process, is going to be starting out with that crossbow shot as your primary, uh, and also having the multi-shot on the bar for slot 1. And then for the other three slots that we have available to us, we are probably going to want to go with Reign of Vengeance then the buff vengeance and then for the last slot in that flex spot probably century or daring swing depending on your play style and the flow you were kind of going with so that is my thoughts on the demon hunter for the leveling process and the skills that i'm going to be putting on my bar uh while i am playing on launch and uh, all of the links you need are down below to subscribe to the channel to not miss my content on the other classes when we dive into these topics and also if you want to be part of the team or the community that we are building uh, all of that is down below and i will see you soon when we cover other classes and other things that we do know as we get closer and closer to the launch of diablo immortal every day that we are all super excited about so uh that will do it for me on this one as always thank you for watching have a good rest of your day. Peace.